you know, what the hell is wrong with uh, sitting in the drive through lane and having your two and three quarter pound cheeseburger and eating it in the car? Because it's really not worth getting out of the car and sitting down at a table to uh, eat. It's not a really a left right issue, is it? Because the the the. Uh, this new menu they're planning for us is going to be even more corporate than the McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell kind of thing. Well, there are, there are a couple of things there. The first is that you're quite right. People don't actually think that their ideology and their virtue signaling is going to realistically impact their food choices. Mm. They think they can go on and say, yes, get rid of the Dutch farmers. Yes, get rid of our carbon footprint. And we'll still be able to rock down the road and afford a five-star meal at our local restaurant. Mm. And it's simply not going to be the case. Eventually, this ideology is going to become a reality. And we're seeing the same thing with our energy grids. Mm. And that's the sort of mentality that we saw before the First World War where people thought, our civilization is never going to change. We're so powerful. Nothing will happen. There'll be no consequences to our ideology. And uh, we're about to learn a really rough lesson there that uh, agriculture is fragile. Mm. It's difficult. It underpins civilization. If you get it wrong, you end up like Mao's China in the Cultural Revolution, where everyone starves all of a sudden. Mm. And as far as this market gap, if you read the new uh goals of the net zero program they want to actually lower our calorie count for every individual mm. now that's not going to happen one the fat positivity movement won't have it and uh, two you can't make people starve even if you tell them to be virtuous we're terrible at sticky diet it's not going to happen so there's going to be a calorie gap in the market and they know very <laughs> well that the calorie gap will be filled by the chemical companies producing this fake meat cricket flour all this mm. rubbish that you don't want to eat. And that is, as you say, way worse than a McDonald's burger, which you can recover from. But I'm not eating bugs unless the world, I mean, actually, no, if the world ends, I'm still not eating bugs. I'll, I'll find no. another way. Yeah, I'm not I'm not waiting in the drive through lane for cockroaches. I draw the line at that. I'm not I'm not I'm not going to sit and sit and wait for uh, getting cockroaches through the drive through window. I, I ain't doing that.